Annalise Butson and her husband set sail on the majestic P and O's Pacific Explorer, blissfully unaware that their voyage would transform into a nightmare. As the sun dipped below the Auckland horizon on October 16, their dreams of a tranquil escape were about to be shattered by an unforeseen menace lurking in the shadows of their cabin. Tiny terrors that would turn their holiday into a nightmare of bites, welts, and an unsettling realization. Little did they know, the adventure that awaited them would be far from the oceanic fantasy they had envisioned. What was anticipated to be a dream voyage turned into a nightmarish ordeal for Annalise Butson and her husband as they embark on P and O's Pacific Explorer cruise from Auckland on October 16. Little did they know, their cozy cabin harbored an unwelcome surprise, bedbugs. We were completely naive to what bedbugs were, we had never experienced them, Annalise admitted, reflecting on the unforeseen menace that awaited them. The first inkling of trouble surfaced a few days before the trip's end when Annalise noticed a few bites on her fingers. However, it wasn't until disembarkation that the full extent of the horror revealed itself, manifesting in painful welts up and down her body. It was horrific, it was extremely, extremely painful and so itchy. Like it almost puts you into a state, I was in absolute state, she recounted, emphasizing the distress caused by the post-cruise revelation. Host cruise, Annalise lodged a complaint with the cruise line, expressing concern for the next unsuspecting occupant of their bug-ridden room. I said my only concern is for them. I said because this isn't enjoyable, and it wasn't even at its worst at that stage, she pleaded. In response, Carnival Australia, the representative of P&O Cruises, issued an apology and extended the $800 compensation offer, which Annalise accepted. A Carnival Australia spokesperson assured that there was no infestation on board, citing hygiene protocols that include the use of medical grade disinfectants in guest cabins. We thoroughly investigate any claims of bites from any pests and are pleased to confirm there were no pests found on board. Despite this, and the guests not raising this issue while enjoying eight nights on our cruise, we provided a significant refund as a gesture of goodwill the spokesperson explained. Let me know your thoughts on this. Have you ever experienced something similar on a cruise? Please like and subscribe to stay up to date on the latest cruise news, and I'll see you in the next video.